What's up, Team Alcash on the Buckhouse here. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys the five best ski resorts in New Mexico, starting from the fifth best to the best. Now, I know what you're thinking, does New Mexico even have five ski resorts? And they actually have nine of them, and we know that because we went and rode every single one of them last season. And that is why I feel like I can give you guys my top five ski resorts in New Mexico. If you live in Texas or you wanna to go to a different state to snowboard, New Mexico has some incredible ski resorts, and we're about to jump right into them. Starting with number five, the like button. I'm joking, but smash the like, it helps the video. But number five is Angel Fire Ski Resort. I was doing me left you neglected. Now I feel the pain, I feel the tension. I know I did you wrong, it's unexpected. I know I did you wrong, but I still check in on you. Now you tell me that you're leaving, but you're fronting on. Getting done, I'm going now like who you starting for. Angel Fire is an awesome small ski resort, but overall it has so much charm. I do feel like this is the family resort. If you have a bunch of young kids in your family and you want a more mellow resort, that is gonna be great for the family as well as have great accommodations. Like there's a lodge right at the bottom that you can sleep in, eat in, and just hang out in. But if you wanna support the crew, we do have our buddy Chris James's condo also linked in the description. But Angel Fire had a really fun beginner friendly park, a bar at the top of the park, which was like, to me, felt like a pretty big perk, even though I don't drink and snowboard. To many people, that's a major perk but the runs were fun they had some good tree runs and overall i think you'd have a great time at angel fire ski resort now number four and this is probably the most popular one because it's right next to santa fe is ski santa fe it's in the past don't you worry baby i won't budge won't judge that's a promise baby because we could all use a lifeline make it last a lifetime picture perfect scenes ain't the model baby sliding down the runway church on sunday beach to burn now our day at Ski Santa Fe was absolutely insane. We had a great powder day. We got to ride all their trees, all their steeps, everything that was super fun about this resort. Sadly, it doesn't have a park or had like a single box. Like they could definitely get themselves a park, but overall it has all the accommodations in Santa Fe that you need to stay or eat or whatever on a trip. But then you just head up the mountain to the resort and you're gonna have a great day with the family on that ski resort. Now, if you want a more in-depth video or breakdown of these resorts from literally 10 categories, from lift prices to runs, to chairlifts, to park, like literally everything we have the resort review that we do that we go to a ski resort we rip it we shred it we show what's awesome about it and then we break it down and get through 10 categories giving a score from 0 to 100 now we've done every single resort in this list and you can check out the videos on the resort review playlist right here so if one of these ski resorts do stand out to you and you just want a little bit more information check out their resort review ski resort number three sip a poo pick it up pick it up pick it up pick it up you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I'm this resort was the local resort. The vibe is what, I, is what I totally felt from this resort. The best part about it is they did also have all types of terrain. All the runs they had felt so much different than everywhere else in New Mexico. They had tree runs, they had groomers, they had a good park. Overall, the vibe though was what made this resort special. And they have a ton of options for you to stay on property. So that's also a pretty awesome perk. So Sivapu Ski Resort is insane. Number three on my list. Now before I tell you number two on this list, consider snagging Evolution sticker. This is how we support the dream. We do have a ski version for all the skiers out there with the evolution logo it's a sticker you throw inside of your helmet let everyone know that you're a part of team Huckhouse. the best part about you guys repping the merch is i get to say what's up to you guys on the mountain hey little man yo little dude that is the sick sticker that's the sickest sticker what's your name oh as well as how we fund all these trips and everything we do on this channel. So guys, thank you so much for snagging any of the merch. We literally have it all. Now resort number two, and this might be a little biased because I love Terrain Park, but it's Red River. Definitely the best terrain park in New Mexico. If you're a park rider, this is the resort that you're gonna want to go to. As well as they had nice steep runs, a really awesome village nearby. Like Red River was overall an incredible experience. It was the first resort we rode in New Mexico and kind of set the bar. I was like, okay, dude, New Mexico's got six ski resorts. So Red River, definitely check it out. The next thing you should check out is resortskimaps.com. This is the resort map of every single resort in the United States. If you check out New Mexico, all of them are green because we've rode every single resort there. And you can click on the little green snowboarder guys and actually watch the video 
video from our day at that resort. But once again, if you're in a different area, you can check out the resorts we rode near you if we rode them. If you click on any of the red ones, it, nothing's gonna pop up because we haven't been there yet. But you can click the top right hand corner and see our schedule for the upcoming season and see if we're coming to your ski resort. Take time off of work, come straight with us. That's our favorite thing is when you guys show up and work with us on your resort. And now the last resort, resort number one, the best resort in New Mexico. You probably already guessed it, but that is Taos. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding dotted of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably. It literally lived up to the name. What an amazing place. We had honestly probably my best powder day ever at Taos, but it's an incredible resort with literally the best in the world resort vibe to it. Big village with tons of food, great places to stay, awesome chairlifts, steep runs, good park, all kinds of stuff that you're gonna want at a ski resort. So if you want that Colorado, California, Utah, big mountain feel, you can find that literally at Taos. So with that team of gals, let me know what your list is for the best five ski resorts in New Mexico. And as always, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It is daily on this snowboard channel.